Hey guys, I wanted to give you a quick little uh, tutorial on how to use macros in Blackout. So this is a new feature, and if you see on the sidebar on the left, you have some pre-built macros. So if you select some channels and tap full, um, they go to full, and if you tap out, they go out. And that is a simple way to combine several keystrokes into one button, and you are able to create your own. Um, you can see we have full time right here on channel 4 and if we go out time it is applying out at time and time the default value we have set in the console right now is three seconds so if we pull out macros we can create our own buttons by clicking the add new in the top right corner and uh, on the right hand side you will see all of the parameters that you can uh, control or adjust or add to your macro syntax so it would be just like any other command you type uh, in the console. You just think about it that way without having to type the channels, assuming that's first. So I'll look down here for maybe xfade. So crossfade would be um, a good example to do here. So if I tap crossfade in the very bottom right there, you'll see it appears up in my uh, my console there in the in the middle of the screen and then I can type at full and now I will label that with something like you know xfad at full and then I can go ahead and save that and now I've created my own macro so I'll go ahead and patch in an airy sky panel in mode one just to show you this working And once I have that in, I'll go to channel view. I'll select my channel one, hold it down so you can get the channel drop down, and then I'll press my button. And there you go. That is how you can create your own macros. I hope you enjoy this tutorial, and uh, let me know what macros you're creating.